everyone, my name is Lindsay Thurston and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a video that I've been planning and working on for quite some time and I'm so excited that today is the day that I get to share it with you. This is my home office makeover. I'm actually sitting in my home office right now and you might have noticed if you've been around here for a while that I've been filming in here the last couple weeks. Changing this room has really dramatically impacted my life, increased my level of joy when I have to work remotely and work on these YouTube videos and I just love walking by this room and seeing the space as it's now redesigned. This space has gone through several iterations from when we first moved in a couple of years ago and then since quarantine I have redesigned this space about three or four times. So this is finally in a place where I can say that it's a finished room, that it represents my style, and is a space that I truly look forward to working in every day. I'm gonna take you through the process of redesigning this space step by step, from painting the walls, rearranging the furniture, and curating a set of home decor that truly inspires me and makes me excited to work in this space. Our little YouTube design nerd family is now over 400 subscribers strong. I am so grateful to all of you and I'm so excited that you're on this journey with me. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I wanna let you know that I have a big goal to get to 1,000 subscribers by December 31st, by the end of this year, and I would really appreciate. It's free, all you have to do is push that little button and you'll help me get there. This is what the office looks like right now when you enter the space. You can see that I've got a gallery wall over here. I definitely am looking to ditch the gallery wall for some simpler art. I've got some very bold print curtains here. They're almost that Dalmatian print. This one's actually a little bit more paint splotchy looking. This is a fabric found at Ikea. I sewed these curtains myself using a fabric I initially picked to go in my classroom. So I've never been very happy with these curtains and I'm ready to get rid of this bold print. Hello, Kelly. Little Miss Kelly is actually recovering from some hot spots from some bug bites on our camping trip. She's just about out of the cone. How are you doing, buddy? This is my desk. It's from West Elm. It's actually the mid-century mini desk. And I got this one off of OfferUp. It's a little bit small, but I love the desk so much I'm not willing to part with it and I'm gonna try to make it work in this space. This lamp is from Target and I'm planning to keep it. I love the brass accessories. This one's still available and I'll link it below. And then I've gone back and forth on office chairs over and over again. This one is just a regular upholstered accent chair. This one's from the Threshold line at Target. This one was $200. I've got this vertical bookshelf, which is one of my prized possessions. This one came from Amazon. This one's definitely staying in this room. I think I'm gonna get rid of the gallery wall in favor of some simpler neutral art. I've got this cube storage also from Target. I think it's the closet made brand and it was only $60. It gave a ton of great storage and I actually like the color for manufactured wood. I'm going to clean all this up though and get rid of all this visual clutter with I think some baskets. Accessories over here. Of course I've got my Alexa and then I'm definitely keeping this vintage little Apple storage container. My mom gave me this. So cute because of course I'm a teacher. I'm kind of over the Ray Dunn stuff in my house other than a couple of coffee mugs. So I think I'm gonna take those to my classroom or I might just end up turning it so you can't see the word labels. My office is a mess, you guys. I've got a shredder down here, a bunch of words going every which way. This is punch needle for a DIY pillow project I have coming up. Of course, I've got YouTube related planning materials. I've got school related planning materials and that doesn't even mention all of this junk over here. Art materials out, paper storage, bins, DIY storage bins, school related storage bins that probably just need to go to my classroom. So I'm definitely ready to clear the clutter out of here. Another thing I am super over you guys are these closets. I really want to have a filming space in here for YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and do something crazy here to cover these up. Get excited for that. And then this rug was actually a gift from my mama when I was putting my office together last spring. She thought this might add a little bit cozy factor and she gave me a gift card to Target 
Target to go pick out a rug. So I picked this Project 62 line shag rug. Kelly loves to snuggle on it, as you can see. This is the wall with Travis's stuff, and for the most part, I'm not gonna be changing this too much. We really love the guitars mounted on the wall. I've always loved that look. I might just kind of help him clear some clutter. Printer storage is always a challenge, and I do have a big black printer, but it's such a workhorse. It does such great stuff for me. This room had to fit a lot of different needs. Number one, I share it with Travis, so I had to make sure that we each had some personal space and that we could utilize this space together. The second thing is working from home. Like many of you, I've been working remotely since March, and it's been a huge transition. What was once a fairly cute office that I could do a little bit of blogging or personal work in now has to serve the purpose of my 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus hour week day job. I'm a very busy second grade teacher and I'm teaching remotely from pretty much eight o'clock in the morning until three o'clock in the afternoon. I also have a lot of meetings in here and I've been doing filming in here for YouTube. So it's a space that has to fill a lot of different jobs. I had to make sure that I had a great light source for my daily instruction from my desk. I had to make sure that I had space for a seated area for another filming spot for all of you and a cozy spot to just kick back with a book if I want to relax after work. I needed to have space for my lights and the things behind the scenes that you guys can't see and I really wanted to balance it all form and function. I really wanted to make sure that the space worked for everything that I want to do in here but that it also was pretty fit my aesthetic, made me feel calm, cool, and collected even during a stressful week. I set up this gallery wall because I thought it would be so cute as a backdrop for all the virtual meetings and teaching and sessions that I was doing last spring. Honestly, you guys, that's how I got into YouTube. <laughs> but now that I'm balancing YouTube and much deeper level of remote instruction, I'm going to be providing live instruction on Microsoft Teams from 8.30 until the afternoon every day. Floating this desk is not working anymore. I'm going to move the desk under the window. That way I can take advantage of all that natural light. It should give me a much brighter appearance on screen. This is a very, very subtle color change. It almost looks like a shadow on the wall, but it's a cooler tone. I'm just hopeful that it's going to give me the look that I want, especially when paired with the white curtains and this beautiful piece of white art. I found this in Home Goods in Spokane while visiting family and I had to have it. This is Sarah Brooke, Melbourne artist. <laughs> Horizon. It's a very, very, very pale gray. Seriously, is that not the coolest? Keep dancing with the devil, but it is a lava. did we paint all four walls in Benjamin Moore Horizon. We also painted the ceiling Chantilly Lace, which is my absolute all-time favorite white paint. It's the perfect white shade without being too yellow or too blue or too pink. It's very neutral. I used the eggshell finish on the walls and the satin finish for the ceiling. I like satin finish for a ceiling or also I use it on trims and doors because it reflects a little bit more light. I'm going to be changing all of the light bulbs. The one can light in the ceiling which is super awkwardly placed and any lamps are all going to be using daylight bulbs. I used to always use soft white bulbs. More recently, especially since I've been filming, I really want my home to feel that nice clean white light feeling mimicking daylight. <laughs> to organize 
these shelves. And one thing that I always want to remind people is your home doesn't just need to be pretty, but it also has to be functional for your life. I am going to break it apart by putting all of the books on the top shelf. I bought three of these woven cube baskets from Ikea. This one is the Knipsa. They minimize the visual clutter of this piece of furniture and also give me some hidden storage for especially those things like camera equipment and things that I just don't want out all the time. Baby, you're being so cute. Like gonna need hems, they are quite long, but I'm also aware that we might move at some point. We definitely will. I'm almost wondering if it might be easier just to do fabric tape, iron on. And look at this. It's like a little white background that I have for filming just about anything. My beautiful chair, I think is gonna work perfectly here. I don't know how, but I managed to find, thanks Kelly, the Elroy armchair and matching ottoman. It is in this beautiful, Sherpa fabric and it's got this beautiful mid-century wood detailing. I love the exposed wood. <gasps> I can't believe it. They had one of these chairs you guys and I had to check. I was like you probably won't have it but they did. Kelly! Oh my gosh. It's time to tackle books and I definitely love books. I have a pretty big collection and what's funny about this is I used to have about a billion more books. If you've been following since my blogging days, you might remember my rainbow bookshelf. Since then, have gotten rid of that bookcase and most of the books, I went through a huge minimalism kick and got rid of a ton of things when I was in the final year of living in my studio apartment. I've really called it down to my absolute favorite books and even from there, I usually go through these about once a year as I pick up more books and then want to get rid of some. I try to always think of it kind of like I think of my closet as a revolving collection and I try to always prioritize the best most timeless pieces or in this case books and then get rid of the ones that I don't really use that much. I went through my entire art book collection which is quite extensive. I pulled out all of the books that I felt like could be used as decorative coffee table books. I feel like they've been a little buried in this vertical bookshelf to be honest. So if you haven't ever used one of these, I would highly recommend it. I found this one on Amazon. I really admired it on CB2, but I wasn't willing to pay the cost that CB2 was asking for. I searched and searched and then finally found this version on Amazon. <laughs> favorite books that I just love to kick back and flip through that bring me zen and joy during all this craziness. Design Sponge at Home. Longtime favorite, Domino. If you didn't already like her, reading this book will make you love her. Orlando Soria is one of my all-time favorite people. Nate Berkus, Home Rules. Did he write other books after this? I would definitely highly recommend looking up Zach George on YouTube. He's incredible. I finally found the perfect mid-century office chair on Wayfair. This one was just $132. It arrived with slight damage, but Wayfair is replacing it for free, which is amazing. So now we can have two of these chairs. It's officially time to make sense of Travis's side of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of this storage compartment inside of his desk. I'm going to thoroughly clean and dust it, and I'm also gonna figure out plugging in all of his various cords. Travis does a little bit of hobby songwriting and so he's got guitars he's got audio recording equipment over here I went ahead and grabbed the Rebalder cord cover this is a super cheap cord cover option from Ikea you can cut it to fit your exact size requirements we've been totally scoring lately with digital prints Travis found this blueprint of the plans for the building of this style of guitar that's up here we went ahead and had this printed at the Costco print shop put it in a matte black 
frame and I'm going to hang it up above between the two guitars on the wall. <laughs> No space in our home would be complete without some stunning greenery. makeover came out. I truly love working in this space. I've been working on this makeover for weeks and I'm so excited to finally share it with you today. So don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like videos like this, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does help YouTube to share this video with more people who might like it. Plus, it lets me know that you want to see more videos like this. I'll link all the products I mention in this makeover down below in the description box so you can find them if you want to use them in an upcoming makeover in your space. I'm setting a huge goal to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're here watching casually, go ahead, join us, hit that red subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll always know when I post a new video, you'll be among the first to see new videos and you can start engaging in our community. For more on my day-to-day -day life, design ideas, and a little bit of extra shop with me and stories, don't forget to find me on Instagram. You can find me at Lindsay Living and there I I just really love to connect with you guys and share with you a little bit more behind the scenes. I am absolutely in love with how this room turned out and I have to say working in here has been an absolute pleasure. I really think it's important to take the time to create a workspace that makes you feel calm and a little bit blissful as you start the most stressful day.